So what's the best way to remove rusted, deformed bolts like these? Obviously on older nuts and bolts that have been tightened into place for a really long time, rust is set in. It's gonna be much harder to remove them, especially if they've been worked a number of times and they have slightly deformed, rounded or sloped shoulders that are gonna make it really hard for a socket bit and a ratchet to get a purchase on them and turn them. A company called ThinkPro sent me out a set of bolt extractors which basically look like socket bits, except if you look inside, you'll notice that they have these kind of scalloped spiral shapes that are meant to tighten up as you counter rotate or as you loosen. Again, if you just tried this with a normal ratchet, you're probably not gonna get the amount of torque you need to remove it. But bolt extractors really bite in and let you use all your arm power to back off rusted components like this. Okay, so first things first, you really don't want to use a power tool to uh, loosen nuts and bolts like this. You can't control the torque as well. So again, I am gonna use a breaker bar, which is just a simple, simple leverage tool and uh, a bolt extractor of the right size, which you can find out the right size by just kind of like test mounting. You do want it to be fairly tight. This fight me a bit, that's okay, because I'm actually going to install the bit onto the bolt with a um, 16 ounce hammer that I've kind of turned into a dead blow mallet by rubber banding on just a couple shop towels. I don't like to have a lot of hard metal on metal contact if I can avoid it. So this will soften the blow just a little bit because I will be tapping this extractor on a number of times. So to begin with, you just kind of line it up like you normally would a socket bit. It's not gonna necessarily wanna go right on. And I do want metal biting into metal. I want the extractor to kind of really clamp on and grip the bolt head. And giving it just a bit of pressure here will help. That feels pretty firm. So I'm gonna put in my half inch bit into the back from the breaker bar. Make sure that you're locked all the way in. Now I have all this additional leverage, which can rotate like an elbow. Then making sure that my socket stays fully attached I'm gonna begin adding just a little percussive force. And that first one there gave me my first little twist. Now, I'm actually gonna back it out. I'm gonna make sure that I'm still attached here and still on at a good 90 degree angle. Bring the arm up a little higher and do it again. Again, pretty simple percussive force with my hand and I'm getting a really good rotation there. It's already loosening up. If the metal seems seriously fatigued, you can sometimes pull this bit off at this point and put on a normal ratchet and rotate in a tightening direction to try to help break up uh, rust and scale if you think the bolt is in danger of breaking. I don't in this case, this all feels quite firm and strong, um, but sometimes that back and forth turning motion can really help break down the scale and rust. What you're trying to do here is prevent shearing your bolt off. But this one's moving. I'm not even gonna take this bit off. I'm not gonna put a different socket on. I am just gonna keep working it with pretty gentle leverage. At this point, it's just freely turning, not fighting me much. So I don't need nearly as strong an angle. Bolt's coming out. That's it. You can see how tightly gripped the extractor is. You can even kind of look in there and see how those scallop shapes really bit in on the counter turn. To get them back out, the set comes with kind of a push pin that you can put down in the hollow socket hole. And let's see if I can do this on camera here. Hold your bit and kind of hammer tap it. There you go. Popped right out. There's a socket and there's our bit. Really none the worse for the wear. You can kind of see the little tooth marks glinting where it bit in, but notice that it was not on the actual ridges. So it didn't deform them any worse. Not a lot of damage to the bolt head either. Very effective, especially with the breaker bar. As a second test, I went and found another wheel that's even older and the bolts are really rounded off here. You got like no definition on the shoulder or the ridge. Clearly they've been worked a number of times, removed a number of times. So found my extractor 
that fits. And again, you want this to be pretty snug at first. It doesn't want to go on right now. I basically want to have to tap or pound it on. So I'll do that right now and we'll give it another test. I'm gonna tap, trying to tap on at a true 90 degree angle to the bolt. Keep the hammer nearby in case God do that again. Put in our breaker bar and make sure we're locked in. And again, little tapping force. Give it a little bit of a leverage point. And that was it. Arm pressure wasn't doing it, so I had to resort to the foot. Let's make sure we are still locked on good and tight. Get the bar back in. All right, now it's responding to a little bit more arm pressure. And reset. Yeah. Now I can just start working around. So help to add a little bit of this upward rotation so that I don't keep pulling the bit down over and over again because it will try to jump off eventually. Just popped off. Look at the shape deformation here. Looks like a round ball. Once again, got our push pin. Got to kind of angle it sometimes. I normally do this, there we go, not too hard. You would maybe want to do that with the vise, but obviously so how easy it was for me just holding it with my hand and applying force with the hammer. But there's the extractor, plenty of rust in there now. And there is the bolt that I just extracted. You can see quite a bit of rounding and deformation on this one. You can also see where the extractor really bit in. It left, left bigger grooves on this one because there's more rust, more metal fatigue. This metal is just softer, but it did bite in at these contact points and use that counter rotational grip to really lock into this thing, get it turning. Threads are still surprisingly good. Didn't see too much rust in there, which is kind of amazing considering I, that this thing is also probably 60 years old, hasn't been touching that whole time frame. So that's how you use extractors and a breaker bar to get out extremely old, rusted, rounded over bolts and nuts. Uh, really want to thank Think Pro for sending it out to me. They're not a paying sponsor. They just sent me the tool to test. Test went great. I'll link the kit down below as well as the breaker bar. The kit is, as far as I know, available on Amazon. So check the description for those links. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back soon for more videos coming up. And please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.